Hey, welcome back everybody. It's me, KB. So today I'm going to show you guys how to increase the speed of your SSD. Yes, I'm doing this tutorial because something crazy happened to me and with my SSD with my PC. Okay, so hear me out. This is a short story of me that, you know, before this I had a SSD of 120 gigabyte and I decided to upgrade my SSD to 500 gigabyte and I did it yes hooray but ever since I bought the new SSD and started to use this my PC was lagging the problem was that my SSD wasn't giving me the full speed what it actually you know offers me so that was the reason my PC was getting slower and uh, I did some research online and I found out that there is a way to fix it. For a moment, I even thought that my SSD was broken or they gave me the used SSD, but that wasn't the case. It was the settings you can do to make your SSD, you know, fast, if it's not fast, okay? So this tutorial is for those people who are not getting the full speed of their SSD. That's it, okay? So first we need to know what is the current speed of our SSD? And then we need to compare it with the uh, SSD's uh, description or whatever, you know, whatever they offer the speed, okay? So let's just do the one thing first. First, we're gonna learn how to test the SSD speed and know what is the speed of our SSD, okay? So I will put link in the description for this software, which is AS ssd benchmark this is a free software so you can go there and download and once you download this run it as a administrator just like this okay this thing will pop up and after that select your ssd drive so c drive is my ssd and d and x drives are actually hdd so we we want to test the ssd because our ssd is slow or something like that you know so i'm gonna start the sequential only because other will take time and I don't want to waste your time. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to start the test and you will see the speed of my SSD here. All right. Okay, just wait. So this is the current speed of my SSD 480 read and 400 right and one more thing i'm recording this video and my obs is also taking some you know power from this ssd so if i wasn't recording it would give me a little more maybe 50 megabytes more something like that okay so now how do we know that we have the full speed of our ssd go to the website of your ssd so this is the ssd i have right now this is the transcend m.2 ssd 820s so this is the ssd i have and i'm gonna go and go to the specs of this ssd here you can see this is the speed limit this is the maximum speed my ssd offers me which is the 550 megabytes per second and 500 megabytes per second and actually this is pretty close you can see i'm getting 480 and 400 read and write okay so which means it's close and as i said i'm recording this and some memory is being used by obs so i would al also get like around 500 or something like that okay but it's close so now we know that we have a full speed of our ssd we are using the full speed of our ssd by comparing it with the specs of the uh, product so this is the product i'm using you can see here okay so before this actually my pc as i said my pc was getting slow so the reason was that it wasn't giving me the right speed full right speed the right speed i was getting before this was 100 megabyte only and read speed was around 300 something okay so after i did some settings now i'm getting the full speed of my ssd so check your ssd just like i did and 
after that compare it with the specs of the ssd yeah where is the specs yeah yeah specs of the ssd then you will know that your ssd is slow or not if it's slow then what you need to do is change the system configuration settings in bios and change the SATA configuration to ahci don't worry after this I'm, when i'm finished talking i will turn off my laptop and i will show you how to change the mode to ahci you can also do some research by yourself and you'll know that if you enable the ahci mode in bios then uh, you know it benefits the ssd ssd can you know increase their speed i mean it will give you the full speed of its capacity okay so right now i fixed it that's why you can see the comparison here okay you can see here and here they are almost close so my ssd is fixed and i don't need to do anything because i did it already so same thing goes for other brands you know you just need to find the what ssd you have and compare it with the specs of your ssd for example if you have the uh, nvme ssd they are much faster than the normal m.2 ssd so for example this one uh, samsung 970 pro something so you can see this is like 10 times faster than the my ssd because it's nvme so if you have a nvme drive then you can also run this program and uh, wait for the result once you get the result of sequential okay compare it with this if you're not getting closer uh, result then you will need to change your bios settings you will need to use the ahci mode in sata configuration or sata configuration i don't know how to say it just say it sata s-a-t-a -A, okay so this is how you can increase the speed of your ssd and this is how i increased this is a real story as i said i was getting the 100 megabytes only read no write speed so i will i should get the 400 plus write speed because uh, that's what my ssd offers me so do the test compare it with the specs of your product and then change your SATA configuration from BIOS to AHCI. Now I'm going to show you how to change the AHCI mode, okay? And before I go into the BIOS, I want you guys to know that every BIOS looks different, okay? So you may have some fancy gaming BIOS, you may have some old looking BIOS or something like that. So let me just dig into the BIOS and see you there all right now i'm in my bios settings so this is actually a laptop you can see so you can also see the model of my laptop which is dell inspiron 15 7000 gaming okay so this is what my bios looks like okay in your case it might look different because every pc every motherboard actually if you have a similar motherboard as i have which is impossible unless you have the same laptop okay but if you have a similar motherboard then it will look something like this but you know every motherboard have a different look of their bios and different settings or something like that so yeah you know as i said if your ssd feels slow you know as i did the test test your ssd and compare it with the specs of your product if it's slow then what you need to do is go to the system configuration okay in your bios as i said again your bios might not look like this okay it will look totally different all you need to do is just find the system configuration settings and after that find the sata operation so here it says sata operation but in your case it might say sata uh, configuration or sata settings or something like that so in my case it says sata operation okay or it might just say something you know sata operation configuration settings okay in my case it says set operation just click on that and after that 
um, you can see set operation I have set to AHCI okay because my SSD was slow before this it was on RAID ON and uh, I changed it to AHCI and after that I had to reinstall my Windows because you are changing the entire memory management system okay so I forgot to mention this thing in the video that if you change your SATA settings SATA mode here you will need to reinstall your Windows okay so make up your mind if your SSD is really really slow then change it to HCI I'm sure that it will help you it did it will 100% it will unless your SSD is broken or something you know so if you use the HCI mode in SATA option then yeah it will give you really good speed actually the full speed of your SSD so that's what I did now my SSD is faster than before you know it was really slow actually <laughs> yeah that's it this is the only thing you need to change set her configuration or set her operation or set her option it would it will say something like that okay in my case it just says set her operation so that's it guys just turn on the AHCI mode and apply and after that you need to reinstall your windows so back up your files and all that kind of stuff and after that reinstall and then test your SSD again and you'll be surprised okay that's it now I'm gonna show you a few different uh, bios just like you can see in the pictures okay so as I said your bios might look different okay unless you have the same motherboard as mine so yeah these are some pictures of random bios and uh, yeah you just need to change the SATA configuration setting to AHCI okay don't use IDE in my in my bios there is no IDE because IDE is a really old system which doesn't come in new computers so you might have RAID, RAID ON, AHCI, maybe other options, but AHCI is the fastest one. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put a link in the description for that be benchmarking application. You can go there and download and test your SSD and compare it with the product of your SSD, you know, specs of your SSD. And it will be good to go. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.